Hey guys, it's Becky. I am back with another process video. Today I am going to be using two papers that are from this Pebbles line. What is it called? You are my always or some some smooshy stuff like that. And then this paper right here by Dear Lizzie. I am doing this layout for the International Scrapbook Day. I only did two challenges, I think, this time, and everybody had something going on. I mean, everybody had something going on for International Scrapbooking Day. And I just, the two challenges I did were just for the Victoria Marie blog and or Facebook group. I think the challenges were on the blog, but you could post your stuff to the Facebook group, and that's what I opted to do. I didn't want to hop around from place to place to place. I had big plans to do so many things on this day, and I didn't. I think I ended up doing three the entire weekend. I don't know what my problem is. I'm still in that funk, so sorry. All right, so I am using a sketch. This is for a sketch challenge. The sketch I'm using is one that Victoria Marie designed. It's going to pop up here in the left-hand corner and will stay there for most of the time. So right here I'm trying to back my photo with this kind of an aqua color. I'm going to layer that on top of the Dear Lizzie, which is kind of a coral. And then I pulled in that craft from the pebbles. I love those colors together. It's so soft and pretty. I love it. Okay, so the day I'm doing this voiceover, it is May 9th. This video will go up on May 16th. Now, I'm only saying that because I'm getting ready to tell you that Jim and I just got back from Washington, D.C. You remember when I talked about his mom passing away last year? Well, his dad is interred at Arlington, so... That's how long it took for us to get her. We had a memorial service for her, don't get me wrong, where she, you know, in North Carolina with her friends. But then we wanted to have another one in Arlington to have her interred with his dad. So that is how long it took for us to schedule that chapel and, you know, all the bells and whistles for her memorial up there Arlington anyway we went ahead and made a trip of it and we stayed I think for four or five nights might have been four nights so we had you know had his mom that one day and then the rest of the time we just you know played tourists he actually had lived in Washington DC twice in his lifetime I had ne I had been to Washington DC when I was 12 so you know, I don't remember much. I remember I saw my first uh, sex worker there and I saw my first homeless person there. That's all I can remember of Washington, D.C. when I was there before when I was 12. So anyways, this photo is taken at the Madame Tussauds um, Wax Museum. Now what happens, and I mentioned this before, I love, love, love the open air buses. And it's not just a going overseas thing. I will do it in the towns here. Because when you get it, when you get your little bus ticket, right? And you're riding on the bus, you get a lay of the land. And then you know the places you want to stop and see. Because you only have a limited amount of time, right? You can't possibly see everything in whatever city you're at, you know, in a span of three or four days. It's just not possible. So I'd love to do that. So that's what we did in D.C. We got on the bus and took a little bit of a trip around the city. Well, the bus tickets came with a free entrance into Madame Tussauds. Now, normally this is not someplace we would go, but it was free, right? <laughs> and it was kind of warm that day after all the walking around. And it's a wax museum. It has to be cool. So <laughs> we went ahead and popped in there and whatnot. This was a really cool wax museum because they had all the presidents in wax form. This photo is a picture of James with James, really? No. Jim <laughs> with President Lincoln. And he's telling him, look behind you, man. <laughs> so he could dodge the bullet, right? So yeah, that's what I'm talking about here in my journaling. Now I did take my journaling I typed it up in Word and just I have a, a large format printer I just ran it through use that traveling typewriter font and my title is going to be look behind you I did have the look right here with these spook spooktacular 
thickers, but I opted to just go for the small ones. I couldn't make it fit just right where I wanted it to. You could see the other, the papers poking be behind the um, O's that I don't like. I'm not a fan of that. So I went ahead and just um, used those small ones, which I also showed you. Now, it blend, it does kind of blend into that khaki background, but I'm fine with that. It could be, look behind you, it could be behind you. It doesn't matter to me. I'm fine with it. I don't know if when I was running my mouth, you saw that I had roughed up all the edges of my layering papers with that Tim Holtz paper edge rougher upper tool, of which the name, I don't know what it's called. It could be called a distress tool, but I don't think it is. I think the one with the foam on it is called the Distress Tool. I don't know what the Paper Ripper Upper one is called, but that's what I use to do the edges. And I am going to do that also on the borders I put at the bottom and at the top of the page. So down at the bottom I put the Coral Dear Lizzie and also the Aqua. And at the top I'm going to do that khaki or that um, craft color of the pebbles and the Coral Dear, the Coral Dear Lizzie one. I am using a liquid adhesive to put that down. So that look, the letters of the look there, foam letters, I think those came out with that, the newest Paige Evans collection. I didn't buy them on my own. They did end up coming in a citrus twist kit. So I was really happy to have those. I think when I actually had bought the pieces of that collection when it had first came out, those were already sold out. And I think that it's because one side is navy and one side is white. And so many people love navy. They were just like swooped up. I mean, people just picked them up. So there was none left for me. All right, so I pulled out a piece of cork. I had got that from Citrus Twist. I said it on the photo. It says this happened. And those little chevron arrows, one down at the bottom and one at the top, those are from Freckled Fawn. They are going to go where they landed right here. Those gold circles are from an old Dear Lizzie sticker pack. It had like circles and hearts in it, I believe. I'm just gonna use a few of the circle ones around the page. I'm gonna kinda layer up the cork pieces on top of them. It's not gonna look totally right, so I am gonna come back and add more to it. Now, this is pretty uh, amazing. I was like, well, I haven't touched these in a while. Let me pull them out. They are those homemade enamel dots. Do you remember when that was the thing? Now, I, it's so funny. I'm saying, do you remember when? Because I've only been doing this for a couple years. But when I first learned about making your own enamel dots, it was like two years ago. And I made a lot of them. And I loved them. <laughs> and I haven't used them much here recently, probably within the last year. It was like a little phase. It was last like two months or something. So anyways, I go ahead and pull those out and I do put a few of those down around the page. And I was so proud of myself for, you know, going back a couple years. All right, so I did take out my circle punch and I punched out one of the aqua circles. I put it right down there under that chevron. I kind of layered up that gold circle on top of it. I roughed up the edges on that as well. Here I took another circle and I put it right there. I am going to put a couple of the circles, the, more of those gold circles, and I'm tuck them around the page just a little bit. You'll see me doing that. If you saw when I was putting down the that big photo mat right there, I just used a little bit of double-sided tape. So right there, I was just going back, sticking down some of the edges. I do like it to be lifted up, right? So not completely stuck down. I do like how you get some shadowing and stuff, but it was way too loose because I did not use that much of the double-sided tape. So here I'm going to go ahead and start working on this cluster at the top right of the photo. Now I did make a little bit of a mistake on here and I can't see it when I'm sitting down, but if I like right here, like you can see what I'm doing, you can't. I'm holding the, the layout up in front of me. So if I pick it up, I can see where that this happened cork. First of all, it's a little bit crooked, but it didn't go all the way up to the top of the photo, which was my intention. So someone had told me if I do something like that to get this undo. Well, I do have some, so I might try and dab a little undo under there and see if I can move that this happened up a little bit because it's down just a smidge too low. You can see the mauve from that photo behind it. I don't care for that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and build this cluster up at the top right. Again, I'm just layering a patterned paper circle, a gold circle, and then the cork piece. I don't pop anything up on any kind of foam tape this time around. 
which is kind of interesting, right? Let's stick that down right there. Here's that uh, sketch is up in the left hand corner again. So I am going to tuck around just a couple more of these gold circles. I'm going to put another one under kind of like the left hand side of the photo. That one right down there at the bottom. And I'm also going to take a piece and put it up at the that top cluster right there kind of stuck under the chevron a little bit right like that i am going to go away for a second and grab some mist i end up pulling out the vibes egg noggin and um give that a little bit of a splutter around the page i do like the heidi swap color shine better and i still have some of it even though I was really sad when I mentioned in one of my videos that I heard that she was discontinuing it and someone said, yep. And then I like cried a little bit on the, on my side of the computer when I saw that comment come in. I was like, no, it's okay though. I do use this egg noggin. I like it. It's not quite as popping as the Heidi Swap. Also, it doesn't get the rings around it. So that's, that's a plus, right? Alright guys, after I do that, I don't do anything else to this layout. Here is the sketch again, twice. <laughs> I showed you the sketch and also it was in the corner. That was funny. Alright guys, thank you so much for joining me. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.